Got a cell phone, you probably know what Bluetooth technology is. It lets you send information between phones, PDAs, and computers without any cables. But did you know that technology can be used to bluejack or blue snarf you? News on 6 Crime reporter Lori Fulbright explains new at 10. Lori? Well, Scott, say you and your wife are having lunch in a restaurant and you start getting these messages on your cell phone. Maybe they're nice, complimenting on you on the tie you're wearing, or maybe they're mean, criticizing your wife's haircut. You've just been bluejacked. And when someone uses Bluetooth, Bluetooth technology to steal your information from your phone, you've been blue snarfed. Bluetooth technology is great for sending information between devices wirelessly, no hassle of hooking up cables. But as with all technology, it can be used for good or evil. Someone can download software to an internet capable phone, which then seeks out a Bluetooth connection on other phones. They can use that connection to send you messages or even make calls through your phone and you pay for it. So if they got hold of your phone and I was within 20 feet of you, so Bluetooth only works within a certain radius, if I'm within that close to you, I could then place a call as though I'm you and it would show up on your bill. Blue snarfing is using that connection to steal information. Someone could access a competitor's contacts, calendar of appointments, or simply get all the pictures on your phone. To protect yourself, turn off Bluetooth when you're not using it, or set Bluetooth to undiscoverable, or put a password on your device. You know, if you're driving down the road, have it on. If you're at the office and you trust people in the office, great. But if you're at a uh, bus station, airport, at a major place where people congregate a mall, it would be a place that maybe I wouldn't uh, have my Bluetooth on. Tom says you should treat your phone, which is really a computer, like your wallet. Don't leave it out, don't leave it with people you don't know or don't trust, and protect it so people don't steal your valuables and cost you in the long run. Now, of course, this is not a huge problem, but it's something that we should all be aware of and take those easy steps to protect against. One group did a test, and within 30 minutes, they made contact with 192 Bluetooth phones. 54 of those phones would have given up the data with no question and without the owner's knowledge. Lori Fulbright, the News on 6 Tonight.